UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 137 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, the Warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. It's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just out of range with the straight left hand. What a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Gets the elbow up into the target. Oh, nice elbow. Big power. 
ball towards Lamb. Now he gets back to range. Lamb's an outside leg kick of his own. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch, man. Plus right hand is true. Way to hide that leg kick. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Straight right hand now just misses. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Watch knees to the body. Under two minutes now to go. He barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ninety seconds to go in our opening round. Oh, nice. Right hand upstairs. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking. Oh, look like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Nice body kick. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. How good is that right hand? 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. That jab snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hand right back to his face. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Great job last night. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take over. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Big head kick land. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him 
the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the hand and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Lee's now dealing with a cheat cut. Big body kick land. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab on him. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. And they separate. Switching stances here. Way to be first. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Good punch, Lance. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, that's a good right hand. It's such a fast leg kick. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, nice right hand. Well-placed kick there by Lee. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands in the fight. He can land that strike over and over again. Beautiful punch. Nice straight right, Lance. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Good punch. Lee's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. Misses with that punch. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That's a big strike right there. Three minutes to go in the round. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Slips. Nice. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's side. Beat his leg up. Watch the strike. Big punch land. with that attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Liver kick. Shot there is blocked. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Big kick land. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Yeah. 
Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful kick. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Great punch landed with so much power. Big power shots landing. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. It's just out of range with the big right hand. Right punches there. Lee's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Good stick. Lands a big elbow there. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Right hook to the body. Whiffs on the elbow. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He blocks the shot. Just out of range with that right hand. Now connects with a right. Just over two minutes to go. Trying to kick the leg out. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. The right hook to the body. here. They continue to exchange. Under a minute to go. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Let's get that 
Under a minute to go in round four. Beautiful body kick. Big head kick lands. Twenty seconds left. Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Straight punch lands. Ten seconds to go in the round. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Ready, fight. Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Big kick. to check these low leg kicks. to have found the timing of his opponent. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice knee to the midsection there. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice strike. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
look at him working and trying to oh. set the up. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the victory by TKO. Huge result inside the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Ruth the Dragon Lee. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.